Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the new Tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan at 69% in the Hidden Potential System with 1 dupe, level 1 links, but a level 5 attack skill orb. Now, I've been thinking about this recently, right? There's a lot of people out there that do these 100% rainbow showcases, max link level showcases for new units. Those are probably the most popular, but recently there's been a good amount of people that have also started doing 55% showcases with no dupes, but you don't really see anybody out there doing a 69% showcase for a new unit, you know, with one dupe, and I feel like that's a hole in the market that needs to be filled by somebody, and that person could be me. So I think going forward, I'm just gonna start doing all my showcases at 69%. If you guys wanna see a new unit with one dupe, at 69% if you hit in potential system, then this is the place to be. Alright, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And uh, we're gonna take this guy on a, uh, not this team actually, this one, the Bond of Master and Disciple team. Dude, it took me so long to find an int future Gohan friend, man. Like I was refreshing for at least five to 10 minutes, but you know what, we got it done. The team is complete. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and see what this tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan can do. Now it looks like he's actually on the second rotation, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's fine because he's actually going to be linked up with uh, one of his best linking partners in the entire game. Yo, that is a lot of orbs to start. Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's start with 13 orbs. Yo. That's crazy, man. I mean, I'm glad I brought the Vegeta because he's an orb changer, right? And uh, we are going to be able to get a good amount of orbs throughout the showcase because of him, as well as the um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku as well. So we're starting off with 142,000 defense with 13 orbs obtained. And he also raises defense on a super attack. So he should be pretty freaking tanky here. Um, but of course, you're not always going to be getting... 13 orbs every turn, so don't expect him to be this tanky all the time. Alright, so we're starting with 5.6 million on the first turn. 5.6 million attack on the first turn. No additional, unfortunately, but uh, pretty impressive first turn, man. P pretty impressive way to start the showcase. So, I was, I was talking to some people earlier today about where I would rank this guy, you know, among like the best units in the game, the best LRs in the game. And I said, I feel like he's easily top five, but I think by the end of the showcase, he might be in my top three, man. Like, I don't really know. I still got to use him more. I still got to use him on more events, um, you know, taking my different teams and all that stuff. Like it's too early to determine where exactly I would rank him, but he's high, man. He's, he's, he's very, very high. Alright, so second turn here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting nearly as many orbs. Let's just give these to the Goku and Gohan. We'll give these to the LR Gohan, and we'll give these to Future Gohan. Okay, so this turn's going to be much less impressive. Even though we do have two supports, we're getting three orbs versus 13. So expect a decent drop in damage, I would say. Like, he's still probably going to be over... 4 million. Yeah, there we go. 4.6. 4.6. Not bad, man. Not bad for only 3 orbs acquired. And he's gonna hit for 4.8. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you crit, then that kind of neutralizes the lack of orbs, right? So, uh, yeah, this guy hits really hard. He, he does a lot of damage. I think that much is, is clear. Now, one thing I want to talk about um, is the fact that some people feel like this Gohan is a little bit too restrictive, right? If you look at his conditions, if you want to get his full passive as well as his active skill, you need to have a movie heroes Goku on your team. You need to be past the fifth turn of the fight. You have to be below 58% HP. But I would argue that number one, he doesn't really need a uh, movie heroes Goku on the team, okay? Because the Goku is only there to activate his like latter part of his passive as well as his active skill. And as you can see right now, even without the full passive, even without the active skill, he's already hitting really hard, man. Now, of course, he's always going to be better with 
a movie hero's Goku on the team, but it's just not necessary. Oh, by the way, he has 139,000 defense this turn. 139,000. He's gonna raise defense on the super. Probably gonna get to like 100 and. 60, 170 after the super. Yeah, he, he can be pretty tanky, man. He can be pretty tanky. As long as you have a support with him, as long as you, you know, maybe have an orb changer on the team like the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, he, he's gonna be fine for key. And he's also gonna be fine for defense, right? He's not gonna be the most tanky unit out there, but he's gonna be quite tanky enough for most events. Going back to what I was saying before, yeah, I feel like the Gohan is actually a lot more comparable to a unit like the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. You know, because for Vegeta, he needs to have a Majin Buu Saga Goku on the team to get his full passive and activate his active skill. But you don't need it because he's still a very good unit without a Majin Buu Saga Goku. He's just even better with a Majin Buu Saga Goku. Same thing with this Gohan, right? If you have a movie Heroes Goku on the team, that's great, but if you don't, not a huge deal. He's still gonna be a monster. He's still gonna be hitting really, really hard, hitting some very good defense. You know, you can totally run him on like a Hybrid Saiyans team, right, where no Goku is possible, and he's still gonna perform very, very well. So uh, on this turn, if we give these two to the Goku and Gohan, we can still give, mm, okay, so it's gonna be eight orbs instead of 10. That kinda sucks. Okay, 8 orbs it is, still going to be a 24 key super, we're looking at 124,000 defense here, and I'll give these to the AGL Gohan. Yeah, so like, don't worry too much about, you know, always running that movie Heroes Goku on the team, because, like I said, you don't, you don't need it, um, he's still going to be amazing <laughs> without it, but if you want to run a movie Heroes Goku on the team, of course, that's ideal, and there are quite a few movie Heroes category Goku's in the game, you can use to proc his uh, passive and active skill too, right? Like you got this Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but you got a bunch of Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, you got some Super Saiyan God Gokus, and so on and so forth. So there are also plenty of options. Hopefully we take a decent amount of damage within the next few turns, so we can actually uh, use Gohan's active skill. Damn, I wasn't paying attention to the Doka meter, so... Now we're going to Dokkan attack with the Goku and Gohan. No, you know what? Actually, let me... We're just going to reset the turn. Okay, for the purpose of the showcase. We're going to load back in here and uh, put Gohan in the first slot so we can get him to Dokkan attack instead. Uh, here we go. So it's going to be seven orbs. We're looking at 120,000 defense. Not too bad. And here we go. All right, so... Hopefully, if we get, I'm gonna say, hopefully, if we get supered, it's after Gohan attacks, but I guess not. So we're gonna eat a good amount of damage there. No surprise though. Um, and let's get this Gohan attack perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. All right, so 4.8 million attack stat. Gohan attack. Hopefully, get a crit. Maybe take out Goku in one shot. Yo, how clean is this animation, man? I've watched it a lot, like, over the past, you know, 24, 48 hours, and it's so clean, man. I just love it. I, I love the 12 key, too. I love the 12 key, too. Hopefully, at some point in this showcase, we can get a triple super multi, right? Wait, no. Triple super rotation, because it's possible for him to super attack three times with a dupe, since he can get the medium chance to uh, super on his passive, and then another super is possible through the hidden potential system. I mean, it's not something that happens too often, but uh, I would like to see it. Yo, I don't know about you guys, but I am loving this new Gohan, man. Even if he's not in the top three, you know, even if you guys don't think he's, like, that good, I mean, he's just a lot of fun to use. Like, he is easily one of my favorite units in the game now even if he's not one of the best. I mean, he's definitely one of the best, even if he's not the best, he's still amazing. Oh, actually one question I've heard a lot is uh, whether or not he's as good or better than the LR Blue Boys. And right now I'm actually inclined to say yes, he is better, but 
I still need further testing as well. It's still, let's say, under review. Okay, I'm inclined to say he is better than LR Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, but I'm not ready to say it definitively yet. It's just too early, guys. Okay, we need some time. I need to spend some more time with this Gohan to uh, really be confident in that statement. Okay, so we're getting supered. We did manage to attack first, and we only ate that for 45k. That's amazing. That's some really solid tanking right there, because we know this Goku hits extremely hard, right? Super Saiyan Blue Goku has hit some of my SDR units for like, you know, 400k or something like that. So the fact that he was able to eat that super for only 45k is very good. Here we go. Uh, that's going to be 10 orbs, right? 10 orbs with the double support, 146,000 defense right now. Really good. One dupe, by the way, right? Just gotta keep that in mind. One dupe, 69%, level 1 links. If his links were level 10, this would be a completely different showcase. Like, he would probably be getting, yeah, over 6 million pretty frequently. Like, 6 million attack, I would say. Pretty, pretty regularly, right? With level 10 links. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I would have preferred actually to have two supports, but this is too good to pass up. Um, so if I move these guys here, and I give these three orbs to Goku and Gohan, that still leaves seven orbs for the tech Super Saiyan 2. Then we can pop the active skill. Enjoy this amazing animation for a second. Ah oh, crap, I don't have sound. Oh my bad guys, I'm sorry. Okay, enjoy it without the voice lines, it's still awesome. It's still amazing. <sighs> so good, so good. Okay, so that's gonna be seven orbs, and we have how much defense? 120,000 right now. And then I will give just a couple here to the AGL Gohan, so. Hopefully we don't get super this turn. And we got super last turn, so we're probably... We probably won't get hit by a super this turn. And... Oh, no. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, I don't know what to be more shocked by. The fact that his attack went over 11 million or the fact that UI Goku dodged our attack at first I was like oh my god 11.4 and then after that I was like yo he actually dodged my attack though I don't know how to feel about this right now man <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Why Why does UI Goku always have to ruin my showcases, man? This literally happened last time with the LR Blue Boys. I swear, the exact same thing happened in my showcase with Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Like, they were about to unleash this amazing super. I popped the active skill and everything, and my super got dodged. So, um, that really sucks, guys. It's fine. You saw what the attacks that was. You, you guys knew you know, war was about to go down, so that's just how the game be like sometimes. And uh, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. I can guarantee you though, if that super had landed, we would have probably taken out Goku, man. Like, I mean, it's not guaranteed. We might have left him with like a sliver of HP, but I have a feeling, no, I, I really do I have a feeling if that super had hit, if he hadn't dodged it, I think he might be dead, man. I think he would have been dead. I mean, we'll never know now. I think that we would have killed Goku if he hadn't been a douchebag and dodged our super attack. Let's see what Gohan can do. Hopefully, he doesn't dodge us again. And we got super. That's fine, though. Uh, 4.3 here. Man, we were up to 11.4. We were up to 11.4. He had to dodge that one. I was so amped up, so ready to see like what kind of damage we could inflict. And now I'm just disappointed. Now I'm just sad. 
I'm still hyped for the... I'm still hyped, honestly, about the... Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Yo! Yo, Gohan just dodged like three attacks in a row. Did I give... Did I give Gohan a, a, a dodge skill orb? I, I don't... I don't remember. Okay, so my Gohan has... Oh, I gave him level three. Yo! I gave him level three dodge and he dodged three times in a row. That one sequence right there might have just turned me into a believer of three dodge. Okay, I've resisted it for a long time. I've, I've, I've consistently told people that it's just not something that I like to do for my units. But that might have just turned me into a believer, man. I think I might start putting three dodge on my units. Or, I mean, I can just give them skill orbs, like that's also a thing. But, um, wow, that was impressive. That, that was impressive. Okay, so Gohan going back to 5.5, 5.6-ish. Still great, it's not 11.4 though. Man, that would have been a guaranteed crit too. It was 11.4 million attack stat with a guaranteed critical. Just so sad. It's just so sad that it didn't land, man. I think we'll be fine. I'll give these to AGL. Give these to Vegeta. Ooh. I mean, 241k. That's, I think, enough. I think enough. Famous last words. We're going to die. Every time I say that, we die. Ooh, AGL Gohan going over 5 million. Now, it took him a while to get there, though, right? But for the tech Gohan, he immediately and put out like five, six million. Like it's nothing, just casually. So that's why I love him so much. That's why I think he's such a great unit because just off the jump from the very start, he can put out some massive, massive numbers. Uh, oh. Wow, it's fine. You guys saw what you needed to see. And this Gohan is definitely a monster. He's 100% in my top five. Let me know in the comments down below where you guys would rank him after either watching this video or testing him out for yourself. And uh, that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for more 69% showcases of new units in the future because, like I said, I'm going to be the 69% guy. And with that said... As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.